This he's losing it. Yo, what's up everyone? This is crazy. The YouTuber Austin McBroom melts down as his RV home gets repossessed. I don't know if this is all for publicity still or this is actually legit, but his RV did get repossessed. So there's a video of it I'm going to show you in a minute and this is him just breaking down crying. Sheesh, in that angle it almost looks like he's got a bunch of white underneath his nose. <laughs> So Austin McBroom and his wife ended up getting a divorce and this guy thought it was a great idea to get an RV and park it outside of her home. Stating that McBroom has been going crazy and posting Snapchat videos that are drawing some concerns from viewers. On top of that fact, he moved into an RV which he parked right south of his ex's home. He was eventually served a neighborhood watch notice and warned that he would be towed if he didn't move the RV while he relocated to a neighbor's property. It looks like the city caught up to him and towed his mobile home away. What's nuts is the Ace family has been caught for faking tons of content and this is another one because the state said the vehicle was getting repossessed and that he actually didn't pay for it in cash as he previously boasted online saying oh look I got this RV with cash all the money I got but it, I guess he ended up leasing it out. That <laughs> states here, I lied. I didn't pay it in cash. He emitted toothpaste covering his mouth. It was a lease, and I've just been paying it monthly. I'm running behind on the payments. That's just nuts. I think just these people just lease things out, rent them, and just don't even bother making the payments and just trying to, like, you know, make it by. Even though this guy's got lots of cash. Apparently, Austin McBroom gets paid, like, $1,000 each snap he posts, so he goes crazy on there. So the guy's making bank, apparently. So this could just all be for publicity. He's like, oh, I'll lease out an RV, cause all this stuff, make a bunch of videos, and then when it re gets repossessed, I can make some more videos, act all crazy. But, uh, I don't know, let's take Take a look at this video. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Cat's in the truck. What's he gonna do? This he's losing it. Dude's in his boxers. This almost seems like could be legit, but it could also be just all fake for publicity. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say. These these YouTubers are narcissists, and they're really good at acting and faking crap. That's the problem with people like Austin McBroom and stuff like that, like Paul Logan, Logan Paul. Like they're just known for acting and making all these fake publicity stunts. This is the article it states that after attempting to bribe the tow truck driver with cash, McBroom attempted to unhook the truck from his RV and hopped in the driver's seat as though he wanted to drive it off. The driver convinced Austin to get out of his truck, warning him he had to get out of here. McBroom then went and sat sadly on the ground in front of a tree, sobbing. Like, post here, worst day ever with him, like, freaking out. So, yeah, it makes you wonder, is this a publicity stunt? Is this him freaking out? And just cut, This is all just planned? I don't have access to these videos, but it says Snapchats taken after the supposed repossession of Austin's RV show the YouTuber speeding down residential roads in a seemingly manic state, adding to the ongoing chaos surrounding his recent behavior, which many viewers believe is merely a ploy for views, which is probably true. For all you know, like I don't, I didn't see the video of it actually being repossessed and taken away. He could have just called this tow truck company, threw the guy a couple hundred dollars just to make these videos. There's so many different things going that could be going on, and that's the problem with people like Austin McBroom. You have no idea what he's faking, what's real, and like it's just it's just crazy. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. Is this just all fake publicity, just so we can get views and make money, or do you think this is actually legit? And in my honest personal opinion, I think it's just all fake for uh, getting views and clout.
And if this is actually legit being repossessed, then what's not saying that it was all planned from the start to rent out a RV or lease it and then wait for it to get repossessed. He probably even called to get it repossessed just so he can make views. You know, like it is just crazy what people will do to get noticed and publicity. And it seems to work for this guy. And once you're already famous like these people, it's not hard to keep getting in the news or the publicity. Anything these people do can make publicity and it's absolutely ridiculous. We need to stop making these people famous and rich just you know by acting like idiots i'd like to point out that there's somebody filming from within the rv and it's actually illegal for them to tow the vehicle with somebody inside so that's another reason why this could be all fake and publicity also you figured the tow truck driver would have acted a lot different than just being that chill unless he's just chill about it uh, it really hurts my brain seeing these people make this like a lot of money and not doing good with it and having a platform and just doing this kind of stuff especially if it's all fake and staged it just blows my mind that's why i respect and shout out to mr beast for what he does because he started off small blew up made tons of money and what does he do no he doesn't do publicity stunts no he doesn't act like a crazy person or fake stuff no he actually makes legit content and he gives back and that's the thing he gives back to tons of people where all these other individuals just try to like keep it for themselves and use it on themselves so it goes to show you the two different types of people that are out there mr beast sheesh i wish i could blow up and make tons of money and start giving back to local communities and helping people out and that'd be awesome if you came across this let me know your thoughts and opinions about it in the comments below please like this video share with your friends and family and click that subscribe button for more thanks for watching everyone stay safe god bless you all take care and peace out